was raised and you go to this movie You may have been transferred with your so-called friends with a power so obscene And your whole heart, it was torn apart You were told to learn and curve If you turn your back on good advice You get what you deserve You get the nail right on the head Oh, you get the nail right on the head Well, there we go. I didn't realize you were out in the garden. I was looking for you up in the apartment. Well, here's the garden. Banana tree behind me. Here's my car. Toyota. Just been out for a couple of hours. I just stopped getting myself a drink. Ah, lemon, excuse me. That was out driving in the car. Don't know where I went. I had one of these GPS, so it doesn't matter where I go, I'll find my way back. Didn't need it in the end. I think it must be a homing seeger or something. Because uh, I ended up back here. I spent out for a good couple of hours. Quiet day because it's a Friday. So uh, it was good. But hello, thanks for looking in. Been here three weeks now. If I suddenly jump up, it's because there's a snake in the grass or something. Or a lizard or a rat or something. Anyway, temperature's dropped about 32 today. It's still hot, but it is winter here. And, uh, yeah, as I say, I've been out driving. And uh, some character was right alongside me and he suddenly just went turned left going up the other side of the road he's really got his eyes on the back of your head um, I'm embarrassed to tell you I got overtaken by a tuk tuk how embarrassing is that never mind better safe than sorry on the way back from work there's a set of traffic lights a couple of days ago and uh, I may have told you before there's a Big hole in the road, manhole cover, missing, but it's sunken in a bit. And I parked to the left of it, and somebody parked to the right of it, and this Toyota came in the middle. I thought, no, he's not going to. <laughs> no, no way. No way. Off he went. Lights changed. Off he went. Well, a thump. Boom! Down went the left hand side of the car. Straight in the hole, bounced back up, and then the back end went in. Boom! And you just drive on as if nothing's happened. Absolutely amazing. But, uh, yeah. I saw a place that was selling uh, sandals. So I turned around, today this is, and uh, parked my car. And suddenly out of nowhere a uniform appeared and told me to sod off. I don't know why. But obviously it's a private parking place or something. I think he was a policeman, but to be honest, there's so many people with uniforms, you don't know what they are. But, uh, but there we are. We had uh, good fun at work this week. We have customs officers in the plant, government officials, and they watch what, uh, what we do because you have to pay customs duty on uh, certain commodities, milk, powder, sugar, uh, fruit concentrate, and they have to be there when you're taking it out of the store, and uh, they keep an eye on how much you're using, 
and they basically just parade about in uniforms. But because it's a food place, I don't allow anybody into production areas without some sort of protective gear from your outside clothing. No, not interested. We have a blue uniform and we are going to show everybody. They're basically brainless with a uniform. All they do is open doors, then go back to their office and fall asleep again. But I ordered this one out. He had on, you know, the cap, uniform, everything. And he grabbed his lapel and went like that. I'm important. So I exploded. As soon as I exploded, he ran out of the factory. <laughs> oh, goodness me. So, I'm going to get uh, some Sudanese people to write to the central office and tell them to uh, abide by the rules or there's going to be trouble. You have to be careful, of course. But, uh, but there you are. There was a supervisor with me at the time. And his face was like a hog when I lost the head. When he ran off and turned around to the supervisor and winked at him. Because I wasn't really upset. I just wanted to make a point. And if I'm not listening, losing the head is a way to make the point. Here. Anyway. So, good stuff. I'm getting attacked at the moment. I'm, my legs beneath my uh, knees are getting bitten by things. There's lumps up here. tiled the floors upstairs, but there's uh, a bit of a carpet where my table is and computer. Um, and I sometimes kneel down in that, so there's something living somewhere. And um, there's some shops here called Home Care. So I asked the, they have cigarette sales people with little stalls and corners all over Cartoon. So I asked him where Home Care was, because there's one local. And he said it's shut. Yeah, yeah, I know that. It's prayer day, so it will be shut. But where is it? It's shut. <sighs> Give up. <clears throat> this area around here is the Al Riyadh area, and uh, many, many moons ago, well, about 12 years or maybe a bit longer, Osama bin Laden was in Sudan at a house uh, before he became notorious for his uh, disgraceful uh, misdemeanors and uh, his house is just was just up the road before he moved on lived here for a number of years uh, in Al Riyadh there's, uh, there's a couple of back roads here that go onto a main road and on that main road his house was on that main road somewhere so it's about uh, 500 yards away it was. Not that I want to be famous for that, but I thought it might be of interest. We've got Eid coming up. Ramadan is uh, in full swing at the moment, where they're fasting from 7 in the morning to 7 at night. And that ends next Sunday, and there's something like 3 to 5 days holiday, which I get as well. I mean, goodness knows what I'm going to do for three to five days uh, off. Sorry, there's a spider crawling on the camera. But I'm sure I'll find something to do. Interesting women in the Muslim sort of uh, community. I don't seem that unhappy. I haven't really been here long enough to look at poverty, etc. But certainly the women working in the factory and the office and the head of my purchasing as a lady, and they work in the factory as, as well. Interestingly, at uh, the ladies' time of the month, uh, they're allowed a day off. If it's a bit difficult, have a day off. It should be sort of unheard of in the UK and anywhere else for that matter. Uh, but they do here. And interestingly, they don't put nail varnish on their fingers. They dip their fingers in the henna, so it's actually up to the heel, and it's all just henna, right? 
Um, it looks like something out uh, of <coughs> Freddy Krueger, maybe, or something. And the toes, they do the same, but only married women, single women don't do that. And they wear the hijab, you know, keep their head covered. If they're married quite tightly, if they're unmarried, they have it loose so that you can see their hair. Um, and I've seen some wearing jeans to work, and some wear the full uh, skirt right down to the bottom. Pigeon just appeared to say hello. Well, Mr. Pigeon. And I was driving to today, I saw a pack of about 10, 12 dogs just careering across the uh, main road. I think a bit of a problem, they gather, they copulate and then somebody comes along and shoots them, eventually. But you just got to ignore them. At one of the apartments, uh, a lady decided to feed three dogs and the three dogs became a pack and the pack wouldn't go away. Uh, which just sort of spoils it for other people. There's a fair bit of begging around as well. And I take the view that you, you can't help everybody, so, you know, don't bother. Every traffic light you stop to, there's stop at, rather. Uh, there's somebody tapping the window, looking for some money. But uh, I'm sure I will give on days of weakness, but at the moment, uh, I have to say I don't, because if I can't help everybody, I don't particularly want to help one or two. So, that's me for the week. Just some little views about Sudan. And uh, at the end of today, we'll uh, head off for another six days' work. And then uh, a bit of a break. Um, so, anyway, nice to see you uh, out in the garden. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for popping in. I appreciate it. It's nice to have the company because I'm here on my own. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll see you next week. Please take care of yourself. Be good to each other. And uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Gives you a lot of scope, actually. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm going back to the apartment. It's too hot out here. Thank <laughs> you.